Hello everyone, Taki here. This is an AOD mask guide for RuneScape 3. Timestamps for everything discussed in this guide can be found in the description box below. To be able to join the FC for kills, you're going to need 95 or 70 prayer, overloads, and 80 plus combat stats. There's a lot of variability with equipment, so I won't mention them all. Listed on screen now are all the different items that you can use to take part in this encounter. The opening portion of this battle is very straightforward. You're going to start off in the red circle and DPS next until she goes up to the ceiling and comes back down. Quickly move off the center and go onto the green spot to avoid the ice damage. Then start DPSing the reaver that spawns in your quadrant. You can see at this point the next goes up to the ceiling and comes back down and forms icicles in all of the cardinal directions. The quadrant that does not have a reaver in it will be attacked with high typeless damage. You can negate some of this with shield abilities. Once this is over, move back into the center lane and start DPSing the reavers. The quadrants that had reavers in them will use stuns to bind their reavers in place. Any reaver that touches next will heal her and deal damage to the raid. Another thing that you have to worry about is the shadow orbs. You will drop three red circles on the ground. Don't step on these or you'll take high typeless damage. At the end of this phase, you will see the crystals spawn. If you're standing anywhere around the crystal, you will take high typeless damage. The minion phase starts when all of the crystals are destroyed. The minion phase is also very straightforward. The kill order is always gonna be Umbra, Glacius, Cruor, and Fumis. When you have a larger mass, It'll look a little bit different than it does in this video, but you're generally going to go counterclockwise starting from Umbra. There weren't a lot of people in the mass when I did this guide, so this will vary a little bit from when you go in here usually, but they decided to lure all of the adds on top of each other and then DPS them down in the order that I've already mentioned. Having a shield switch is very useful for the AOD masses. If you end up tanking one of these adds, they can do massive amounts of damage on you along with stunning you. So being able to switch to a shield using defensive abilities combined with shield abilities will allow you to negate most of that damage. The final thing that you have to worry about in this phase is the ice attack. Next we'll target one to two players with ice and you'll get a message on your screen that says you stay down. You have to immediately use freedom to clear the freeze or anticipation to negate it and then surge away from all of the DPS. If you end up hitting another DPS with this, it will probably result in you getting a temporary ban from the FC and you will have to sit out for a few kills. This is an example of what that ice attack looks like. You get a quick message popping up over your head, then you have enough time to do a freedom and surge away from everybody else. As long as you're not in range of anybody else, then you're gonna be good in terms of not getting kicked out of the FC. After this is over, you're going to take a melee bleed. You can easily heal through this as long as you weren't in range with somebody else. It'll only be 2,000, so it's completely manageable to brew and shark through this. The smoke wall is another thing that you have to worry about in this encounter. Next, we'll target two players with a pop-up message over their head telling them that they are going to get targeted by a power from one of the directions. You have to move to the adjacent wall from the one that is listed over your head. For example, if you're targeted from a power from the north, you're going to surge either east or west. And here's my example of that attack. I was targeted with power from the east, so I could have gone all the way north, but I didn't want to for this example, so I decided to surge south when I got the message popping up over my head. And then I will drop the smoke completely away from everybody else to avoid hitting any DPS with the smoke wall. And finally, the last phase will start at 600k life points when all players will transition to the pillars. The pillar kill order is the exact same thing as the minion kill order. So if you do those out of order, you have to do the pillars out of order also. The first thing that you're going to get targeted with when this phase starts are shadow traps. Next, we'll target players at the start of the last phase with shadow traps. You need to run your traps to avoid taking high typeless damage. These are usually run in the southeastern quadrant. Now you can see at the start of the phase, I got targeted with the shadow traps and all of the black circles that drop on the floor. I cannot stand in those where I will take high typeless damage. It's very easy to get comboed with this, especially when you can step on somebody else's traps. Just simply drop them in a straight line and you'll be good to go. Next we'll gain two abilities during this last phase. She has a virus and a freeze. The virus will drain your prayer stats and overload timers, and the freeze attack will show up on your whole entire screen. You can clear this easily with freedom or anticipation at the end to heal. You will take more damage if you end up freezing players near you in the same way that you do with the previous freeze attack. 
The following is a quick example of me clearing that freeze attack. The final thing that you have to worry about in this encounter is the insta-kill bomb. Next is going to target a player with a message on their screen. A bar will start filling over their head underneath their adrenaline bar. They have to run to the center and wait. Once your bar resets in the center, you're going to run your bomb away from the rest of the raid. Priority placement is going to be southeast and east of the raid. I didn't manage to get targeted with a bomb when I was making this guide, so I'm going to have to use this clip as an example. The person sitting next to me ended up getting targeted, so they're going to run to the center and stand inside the blue circle. Once their bar resets, then they are going to make their way east so they can drop their bomb away from the rest of the group. You can see here they found a nice clean spot with no bombs. They're going to wait, and then they can start walking back to the group. The bar will lag a little bit. It'll end up dropping when you can still see the bar, but then you can see the bomb is placed away from everybody else, so it's completely fine. Once all of the pillars are destroyed, you're going to be able to start attacking Nex again. She will still do the bomb attack, so you have to watch out for that. Keep your health topped off so you don't die, and then enjoy your loot. That's it for this one. If it helped you, please let me know in the comments below. Until next time, Taki out.